is Jiggly Caliente. How exciting to be this at this iconic historic event with the first DragCon. Oh my God, it's amazing because I would have never in a million years thought that this could be so big. Actually, when I first signed up for it, I was like, oh man, I don't know how big this is going to get. And when I got here, it was insane. Like the first half hour, it just like blew up with everybody in here. It was amazing. Now, were you excited? It exceeded my expectations were so you much. Were excited to see that there was a lot of love, that people are coming up for your autographs and photos? You know, uh, again, like <laughs> you never know coming into this that how big it could be. But the outpour of love and support from all the fans has been so insanely amazing. And it's kind of overwhelming, but in a very sweet and good way. It was so overwhelming and it was so much fun. Now, how did you get into drag? I got into drag because um, I just love... I've always dressed like in my house, like playing with my mom and stuff. You know, like being Filipino, my mom's feet were small and it kind of... Like I, my, I stuck my feet in her shoes anyway. You know, I played around her stuff. Too bad she didn't have any wigs, because my mom had really long hair, and I was like, ah, oh, damn. But if she would have had wigs, I would have had, it would have been a lot earlier. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. Now, now, for you being Filipina, to see on China uh, was in season one, I'm Filipina, yeah. and then uh, you and then Manila Luzon, how exciting to see Filipinos representing on drag? Uh, you know, I think that the Filipinos and drag race are a force to reckon with, because we're, we're strong. We're like, we're like the Pacquiao in drag race. <laughs> You know, we're not we're not fucking we're not messing around with them. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get you together. We were it's I think that it's amazing because there's a lot of amazing queens even in the Philippines. So we 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 can just hope that we are we represent the Filipinos just as strongly for drag race than they do in the Philippines. Now, one, ex one interesting thing is that with Filipino drag queens, they actually sing. Yeah. You know, uh, is that one special special thing about Filipino drag queens? Well, I think I'm the only one that skipped that gene. I don't know why I can't sing to save my life, but I can dance my ass off. Like, like you know, like I'm a good performer. Like all the other Filipinos out there, I can perform. I just can't sing. Yeah. And then tell us a little bit, what's special, what do you feel is special about you, why people should come out and see you when you do a show? Um, like a true Filipino, I'm warm, you know, it's more fun in the Philippines, as they say, and it's more fun when you're with Jiggly. Yeah, so that's what it is. Like, I think I have the, I'm just relatable, and I'm approachable, I'm not, I don't take myself ever too seriously, so that's why I think a lot of people always gravitate towards me, it's because I'm, I'm a lot of fun, I'm a big ball of fun, literally big ball of fun. And how has uh, RuPaul's Drag Race changed your life? RuPaul's Drag Race has, I owe so much to the show because, you know, I've gotten to tour the world, I've gotten to go to Australia, to the UK, I've gotten, I've done so much with the show, able to go and do television shows like Broad City and, you know, even to film, independent films. It, I think that it has opened so many doors for me that I, I will be forever grateful for all that it's done for my life. Have you gone to the Philippines yet? Not yet. I'm waiting. They've brought a door and Willem. I'm still waiting to go. Oh, maybe I'm like, come on. I need to be back home. So be GMA. Bring me. I, I would love to. I want to be one of the, uh, in the teleseries in GMA. That's what I want to do. That's my goal. Oh, you might be in a, my husband's lover number two. Oh, my God. I would love that. He was so hot. I forgot his name. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Tom Rodriguez was so much. He's so hot. Um, and there's another one. No, not James Reed. He's also cute. Uh, that, no, that's the other channel. I can't say that. Oh my, not Dennis Delio. Uh, Ding Dong Nantes. Oh my God, he's so hot. But he got married. Yeah. yeah well, okay. well, look out, Marion, because I'm about to get him. Okay, give me. A, if you were to do a line with Ding Dong Dantes, come up with a line. What would you say? Uh, what would I say? Kahit na nasa kanya ka, ang puso mo ay sa akin lang. Oh my God. And that note, we got to end it there. And tell everybody uh, social media where they can find you. Um, my Instagram is JigglyBitch. My Twitter is at Jiggly Caliente. And you can find me on Facebook, Jiggly Caliente.